All right, so this is a short video on calculating reverse scoring in Google Sheets. Um, it works the same way in Excel. So uh, I'm just going to show you how this works. If you need a conceptual refresher, you should go back and watch that video um, on conceptual reverse scoring. I am in a Machiavellianism data set. Um, this is something I pulled from Kaggle uh, and they used the Christie and Geis um, uh, Machiavellianism scale. And this data was collected between uh, July 2017 and March 2019. And what I'm going to do is I need to create some reverse scores. So I have highlighted the questions that are in the reverse order um, in red as a quick way to reference them. And I'm going to create my new question. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert a column. You can do this a lot of different ways. Um, so you could put it at the end if you want to. So you could say, I'm going to put all of my reverse scored questions here at the end. I'm going to show you the way that I do it because it helps me keep track of things. Um, so what I would do is I want to add a reverse scored uh, version of my Q3A. So I'm going to insert a column to the right. And the reason I didn't do it to the left here is because then it makes a red one and I don't want that. So I inserted a column here. You can do that by clicking on this little arrow or you can right click on your column, right? So uh, what I need to do is I need to make a Q3A reversed. So I'm just gonna add an R to it. And actually I'm just gonna make it an R that'll keep it simple. And so what you want to do is you use a formula where you take your highest possible score, which in this case for each question is a five, and you say, okay, I'm going to take that, I'm going to do equals, let's make this bigger so you can see the formula. Um, I'm going to do equals, I want to take my highest possible score, which is five, and you're going to add one to it. I know I could have just typed a six, but I want you to be able to see the actual formula. So we're doing um, our highest possible score plus one, and then we're going to subtract each score from it. So what happens, ooh, and look at that, suggested autofill, yes, please. Um, this is the opposite, right? So somebody who disagreed here um, now is shifted so that it's in the right direction. And again, if you need a refresher, you should go back and watch that conceptual video. But the idea is that you're taking the highest score plus one, and then you're subtracting each score from that. So in this two becomes four, or sorry, four, yes, two becomes four, four becomes two, two becomes four, one becomes five. So we're just flipping the scores. So this is a very quick way to do this in um, Google Sheets. One note, the reason why I put mine here is that I would go through and do this for each of my questions. And then I would move all of these um, revert that need to be reverse scored. I would move them all to the end so that all of my correct questions that I want to add together are there. So once I'm done doing this, um, once I do all of these uh, all of these reverse scores, I can create a total score. So I'm gonna pause this and show you what that looks like. So I've calculated all of my reverse scores um, for each of the reverse scored questions. And so now I can move these. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull them over. I'm gonna pull these out of the way. So I'm gonna put them at the end of my questionnaire. Um, and what that does is it allows me to have all of my questions grouped together. So that way I can go ahead and calculate a sum. So there's a lot of different ways you can do that. You could leave them and create a new sheet and delete those um, questions if you want to. This way allows you to keep them in the same sheet. So then the reason why this is an advantage is now you have all of the correctly scored items so you can create a, a sum, a total score. So if you were to do that, you could just insert a column here and create your sum. Um, so that is reverse scoring in Google Sheets. And again, this would be the same in Excel.